Hi again, welcome to the garage, I'm Pierre. Uh, today's subject, like uh, people sometimes need to uh, make uh, reproduce dovetails or uh, you know tool holders or whatever. And uh, I've seen a lot of people, their favorite method of measuring the uh, the blocks is to, uh, you know, this way. Uh, if you think that's accurate, be my guest. I'll show you how far you can be. Uh, I'll show you the numbers for this. And uh, some smart ones will say, I'm using CAD. Yeah, sure, you may be good at CAD, but you'll never be good at uh, figuring out how it works. So if you're interested to see from, you know, the, the, the main issues about uh, making dovetails, how it's done, how to measure them accurately, and uh, reproduce them with the uh, minimal trials and error, uh, be my guest. We'll be just doing that in a few seconds. First thing you'll see is uh, how I uh, measured them over the, uh, the, the late itself. I'm uh, using CA blocks applicable to any other... Under uh, any other sizes, because all you have to do is change the numbers you're getting. The formulas and the uh, calculations are always, always going to be the same. The principles never change. So uh, let's get at it and uh, see how uh, how it works. Okay, now for the third time. Just I don't. I hope I don't freaking drop the bloody pin in the chip pan again. But anyway, okay. These are three eighths of an inch, measured 375 uh, and six tenths. First one. This is uh, 375 and 5 tenths. We'll average them to a 375 and 6 tenths in our calculations a little later on. Now, you want to swear, you try to hold everything with, the, with one hand. Not very good. So I'll put the, an elastic here to uh, hold the pins. It's going to avoid me, uh, you know, aggravations and the you know, bad words. And Okay, let's get the pin over there and we're going to be measuring uh, i guess yeah you see you see good enough okay i'm going to be measuring the the distance between the pins here let's uh let's try this get the maximum reading Okay, this is a three to four. It's going to be three inches, one hundred and thirteen and a half. Three inches, one hundred thirteen and a half. Another measurement we need is from this reference surface there to the other reference surface that is right there. So let's. Uh, Let's get there. I made sure that my uh, depth micrometer was uh, calibrated to zero before. <laughs> That's another important thing. Okay, we're just on one side here. And uh, let's hold this perpendicular with this here. Very well seated there. And let's measure this. As soon as it touches, because if you start pushing with this, this is a 40 to 1 uh, ratio, so that, that can lift the uh, the tool pretty uh, pretty badly so if he tries should be right there it's uh, uh, 500 thousandths uh, minus 3 tenths so it's 497 497 point point four ninety seven inch those are the measurements we need to get an accurate reading on this there uh, along with the size of the uh, dowel pins. So the dowel pins are 375 and 6 tenths. And as of now, we need the measurement for the uh, tool holder itself. Cleanliness is a must. Just be sure that no burrs, no nothing lies in there. Make sure it's absolutely clean. We're going to be using the same dowel pins. We'll use the same measurements for those. There we go right inside there. There's a, I don't know if you maybe notice here, you I guess you notice these lines there. There's a little bit of a recess in the middle of this. So uh, the um, reference surfaces are there and they're not there. So you gotta be aware that the, the uh, pins gotta be in line with this. So one tool I use, which I like to measure these kinds of distances is this, uh, this adjustable parallel here. Here we go. Make sure everything's solid. This leans in the bottom all over the place, and let's measure the distance here. Okay, now let's 
mosquito again. Let's measure this. One point six forty one and a half. One point six forty one five tenths. That's all we need. Let's go to the uh, let's go to the board and uh, do some maths now. One alternate method that you can use if you don't have uh, expensive uh, parallels, adjustable parallels, is a little jack like this here. You, know, you just uh, screw and unscrew. My dial pins are a little bit big, so for the minimum range of the uh, the jack, so you can use some uh, smaller dial pins as long as they go in there, put two in there, and you get the. Uh, it's uh, make sure that uh, the uh, this part, since it's a little higher here, it goes under the center line of the dial pin. Um, this just one that that one thing to uh, make sure of. But after that, you adjust, measure, and you should get uh, reasonably close from the measure I got with the uh, adjustable parallel. So that's another uh, another method of making it if you don't have the adjustable parallels. Hey, we're now back from the. Uh, Late, we took some measurements. We measured the tool post, we measured the uh, block. We're lucky here enough that if we want to reproduce the blocks, we got the measurements. We got the height, and we got the spacing with known dial pins. With this, you can reproduce a block. You go to your saw, you go to your uh, you know, different machines, and you start. You're, uh, you're ready to start with minimum calculations. That's pretty easy. But uh, you get late, and you got a tool post, and you got no blocks, and then you got to start making yourself some blocks few measurements you need. You need the height there and you need the Y size of the uh, you know, the dowel extremities here. How do you get there? Uh, first thing we gotta have to do, we got some measurements we took. So from there the dowel pins were inserted into the angles there, you know, snug into the uh, the corners and measured the most accurately as possible. You can use the uh, calipers to do that but better use a micrometer but the measurements I came up with three inches 113 thousandths of an inch this is not too bad so far but to get the Y measurement I you know I first need to find the T measure T measure is everything in the middle there by getting rid of those measures there how do I how do I do that because we got uh, we got some things we know you got a circle here which is a dial pin, 375 thousandths. Got the center there. The center there with the right angle there will give you half the diameter of the uh, dial pin, 187 thousandths. So you know from now on that this measurement is 187 thousandths of an inch now. That's already a good start. And from here, let me get the crayon. From here to there, right angle too. It's 187 thousandths of an inch there, too. So we got two known measurements there. How do you measure the distance from here to there? Let's just transpose this little drawing there to this section of the board there. Because we got the same size uh, dial pins and everything, so we'll be using, we can use this uh, reference for the two of them. Uh, we got the opposite side, which is the height there. We need the adjacent side, the question mark. And we know we got a 30 degree angle. Um, on rectangular triangles, you only need two datas. You can have side or side, a side and an angle, and whatever. You need two measurements to find out the other measurements, the, all the angles, all the other things in the uh, triangle. So the tangent in this case is the opposite side over the adjacent side. What we got here, opposite, opposite side, sorry, and the angle. So we need the adjacent side. The question mark. So we got the opposite over the tangent, 187 thousandths of an inch over tangent of 30 degrees because the angle there is 30 degrees. That will give you 325 thousandths of an inch. That gives you the distance in all those triangles because they're all the same, but we're working on this one first. The distance between here and there is 325. The distance between here and there, which we need to remove from this total to get the T, is 187 thousandths of an inch. This is one side, but the other side is symmetrical. So two times this, subtract this from this, and you get the T measurement. T is three inches, 113 thousandths. You subtract two times 
the distance of the base of the triangle, the adjacent side, and you subtract also these two parts, which is the diameter of the, uh, the dowel pin. The result, the final result for T is two inches and 87 thousandths of an inch. Between here and there, this is what we got. Now we need to find Y. To find Y, same principle, we got a triangle there and we got two known values in it. We got angle and we got this side there. The, let's say we work with the 30 degree angle, we got the adjacent side there, which is 497 thousandths of an inch. It's going to be the final height. So the opposite side is tangent to multiply by the adjacent side. Tangent 30 degrees multiplied by the adjacent side 497, which is the height there. there was, this will give you 286 thousandths of an inch for the A part there. Y is T plus A and A prime. This is the two distances here are symmetrical. So Y is 2 times A plus T which is going to give you 2 times 286 thousandths plus T. Y is going to be the final result there. This final result there is the distance and the Y measurement. Finally, we get this value. And with this value, we're going to uh, create the X value that we need there. The uh, X value is the Y value plus some clearance. I decided to have you know, a 6 thousandth uh, of an inch uh, clearance, which is according to what I measured uh, and calculated, which is exactly what there is on the, uh, the blocks there and the, uh, the blocks and the uh, tool posts. So we'll be working with that. Um, what is X? X is the addition of uh, all these spaces plus spacing, you know, the uh, just inside the diameter and everything. So s X is two times the adjacent sides plus the diameter, those two uh, radiuses there, plus spacing. So you want to isolate spacing, put spacing on this side. So X is going to be this, you know, everything but the two times uh, adjacent sides plus the diameter. Everything of that is subtracted. If you do the calculation there, you will get one inch, 641 thousandths. This will be the resulting spacing for this is actually CA blocks. So if you get the CXA, BXA, or AXA, it's not the same values that I've used here. These values are for the uh, example. But this is exactly the same principle. If you take your measures right, you'll be able to achieve some uh, very decent and very uh, good quality blocks. So I think this is a good start. If you have any comments or anything like uh, you want clarifications or whatever just uh, go description box I'll be happy to uh, try to help you or just you know if you need something special just uh, let me know and I'll uh, I'll see about it then you got the email too in my uh, thing down there so that's it for now